Welcome back to your deeds, and we are going to be playing on choices. It's this game right here at this end. So, first time playing this. So, welcome to the choices. Get started by picking a general, general for your first story. So, we will go with, I guess, fancy. Well, that's how I never played it. Let's just turn it up. I don't want sound effects. Your volume. Wait, let's go a sec. Oh, that's how we're not getting any volume. So chapter one, the broken alliance. So we pick the mail. So now playing as Dominic Hunter. You are one of the best hunters in Stormholt, the smallest realm of the five kingdoms. Are you sure you want to do this? The Queen will never forgive me if you go back to the castle wounded. Your best friend, the Princess, Kenny Reyes, smirks as she raises her practice sword. That music's a bit annoying, a bit too loud for you. Um, trying to back out. I think you're just worried I'll bruise that pretty face of yours. Oh, so my face is pretty now? Typical, you only hear what you want to hear. Ready to lose to a princess? Go ahead and try. You haven't gotten the better of me in six summers. Kenny raises a sword. You're about to make a choice. The choices you make will change the story in different ways. Some small and some very big. Kenny's attacking. I should block, obviously. You block Kenny's strike and hold your ground. Some choices increases Dom's power. Higher power unlocks special choices. You are saying about losing to a princess? You haven't won yet. Kenny lunges forwards and ends up right against you, your face only inches apart. Maybe you should spend more time on your supply and less time with the kitchen girls. I think I've got time for both. Is that so? I should taunt her, tackle her or kiss her. So, probably taunt. Careful, princess, you're starting to sound jealous. Jealous? I? You knock the sword out of her hand. You let yourself get distracted. Maybe you are getting jealous. Damn. Kenny tackles you, reaching for your sword. Ahem. Turning, you see Grabble, the royal bodyguard. The gravel, we. I was just leaving. Nobles from other four kingdoms will arrive shortly. The queen expects you to be there to greet them. Oh, of course. Kenny hurries off to the castle, but Gravel linger, lingers back. What is, what in the three hells do you think you're doing? She's the princess of Stormholt. Honestly, it was nothing. Nothing, uh, maybe it was nothing to you, but she cares for you, Dan. Dom. More than she should, m more than you deserve. I know I'm a co commoner, but... You're worse than a commoner. When we found you, 
you were a child with no name, abandoned, half dead, and the castle steps and covered. It burned in veins. Whatever my origins, I've been a loyal friend to Kenna. Even you have to admit that. A childhood friend, but childhood hens. Adults do as they must. Royalty must of all. The princess knows that. Don't make it any harder on her than it has to be. Do you put glasses on? It's hard to see it sometimes. You and Gabo enter the throne room and find your mother dressed in her finest groan, t talking to Leon, the captain of the royal guard. Your increased security as I requested. Yes, of course, your majesty. A dozen guards at each entrance and a companion of archers on every wall. Your mother turns to you and smiles. It's nice to see you indoors for once, my little butterfly. Where else would a butterfly thrive but indoors? Funny, I trust you'll be on your best behaviour tonight. You just might meet your future husband. Kenna, married? Now that I like to see. They are beasts in the Black Swine Mountains. You'll have an easier time t taming. Now, Kenna, it's time for you to get dressed. I had something special made. I don't suppose it's armor like the kind, Leon has it, is it? <sighs> Sometimes I don't tap. Uh, bet I had one of the finest dressmakers in the Five Kingdoms wear for months on a silver and black grown unmatched in beauty. Is it the Five Kingdoms from the Dynasty Warriors age? I, I can't wait to see it on you, and I know our guests will be very impressed. Which outfit will you wear? Rather the armor. I just stick with the clothes I have on. I can't say that I'm surprised, but I have to try. Huh? I do wish your Aunt Eloise was here to advise you. She was always the fashionable one. She hasn't returned yet. You know my sister's Kenna always being entertained by some dashing gentleman on a foolish adventure, the luxuries of not being queen. Trizen, a castle servant, approaches. Your Majesty, the nobles from the other four kingdoms have arrived. Already? Come now, little butterfly, you just need to smile and look pretty. I'm the one who has to listen to the old King Amroth Joan on about his hunting conquests. You think he's going to tell the story of how he killed a bow with a rusty spoon? He always does, and I'm pretty sure the bow gets bigger and bigger each time. Come, let's go welcome our guests. Servants throw open the grand doors to the throne room. The kings and queens of the four neighbouring kingdoms enter, each with a group of countries your mother takes your hand remember today can the alliance formed here may stand for a thousand years even against our common enemy the iron emperor let me say one moment to say to it there was no question or anything to be honest some choices increase Kenneth's prestige. So that's just plus one. Pace can never be obtained with the stroke of a pen, only by swinging a sword. I know you're wary, but we must place our trust in our neighbours. 
Where's the music gone? <laughs> Let's just check the whole long. After a hundred years of border skirmishes, it's a miracle they consider this allies at all. The first of the royals approaches you. Tristan clears his throat to announce them. May I present King Omroth Jodromia of Florida, I guess, and his son of his heir, Prince Travin Jodromia. King Afro bows and kisses your mother's hand as Prince Travin bows to you. Princess, truly your obviously is evil. Uh, truly your lovely lovely than the thousand statuses of Flandria. Prince Travan, I had many suitors but none so charming. You should see me with a sword. Wasn't those statuses destroyed by the Iron Emperor? Come back where I truly shine. The peacemaker's daughter is a warrior? I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> a woman should be able to defend herself, don't you think? A woman of your position and grace should be guarded by a hundred armed men at all times, each sworn to defend her to his dying breath. Prince Champion and his father stepped aside. I should zoom in to be honest. There's nothing going on anywhere else. So I'll zoom in a bit. And bring the iPad a bit down. May I present King Lufa, the Nafi King's ruler of Ebantus or Emastus or Fus. Queen Andrian and his son Prince Marco. Bow when you announce this boy. Prince Marco strikes T Tyson, knocking him to the ground. When King is percentage level is high enough, you can unlock special choices. Try it now. So I should stop Marco. Apologize to Marco or be right to Marco. So we stop him, I guess. So that's the prestige one. You backhand Prince Marco, your ring c cutting the flesh of his cheek. We still honor the old rules in this castle and even sniveling prince aren't above them. How dare you, is this the greetings we get from Stormholt? I see you burn for this wench. Hold your tongue Marco, this is Princess Kenna. I don't know what's gotten into my daughter, can, can I apologise? I will not. No need, no need, I'd like to see a girl who will fight for her people. As the other kings arrive, the spot is familiar face among the assembled crowd watching from a distance. Dominic's attention turns towards some of the other ladies in attendance. Maybe I should have dressed up. Queen Argia adjusts, adjusts the assembled crowd. For too long we have fought amongst each other, squabbling over land, whilst our shared enemy abroad grows stronger. Today we change that, today the five kingdoms become one, a clenched fist that will stand strong against all threats. To steal the alliance, please raise a glass with me to a brighter future for us all. The assembled royal royalty cheers. Everyone raises their golden go goblets and drinks. Everyone but King Lufa, Nerikis, and his son, Prince Marco. Before my father died, 
burned alive by the Iron Empire. He told me one thing. Our lands will never be safe from them until we are one. If we are one. One kingdom. One king. They will be no allies. They will be only my kingdom. As Luther speaks, you hear the clanks of armor coming down the hall, then the screams of servants. How is this possible? The gates are sealed and the bridge is down. Oh, John. The secret passage into the castle. How? The only people who know about it are me and Gabriel and your sister Eloise. Beautiful woman, but far too trusting. She never even suspected her latest lover was once one of my spies. No. You monster. She struggled violently, but you'll be amazed at the secrets, secrets a person spills when you gouge their eyes out. Luther raises his glass to his lips and takes a sip. Now then, let's get this over with. The doors fly open, men in strange glittering armour, or glistening armour, charging, le levelling cr crossbows at all the assembled guests. Die. Can I look out? See, choices have a time limit. Think fast. Oh, some choices. They would just have a fake or light if I go. So, so I um, won't be able to have the time to read the map. So I'm just going to have to pick one. So I must freeze, dodge, or hesitate. You roll to the side just in time. The bolt from a crossbow slams into the wall right where you were standing. Too close. Take cover. Arrows sit through the air, striking the assembled royals. Their sh shouts echo in the front room. You turn and see a bolt pierce straight through your mother's heart, her eyes going wide as she falls onto the ground. The Queen Mother Kenna You crawl cr across the stone floor to her. I'm sure it would be marble but whatever. Mother I love you, it will burn for this. I swear it. Be strong little butterfly, be strong. Your mother tightly grips your hand as she draws breath for the last time. Tears blur your vision as Dominic pulls you away from her. Kenna, we have to go. No, I'm not leaving her. Uh -uh. You look up just in time to see it. Prince Marco gleefully disarm and cut down another nobleman for a flurry of quick, quick strikes. Uh, I've had a better fights against my stable hands, pathetic. Nearby, Gabriel fights back, impaling one Nivrik kiss soldier with his sword and dropping another with a gauntlet to the skull. Kenna, I need to get you out of here now. A Nevakius soldier uh, bars the door to the outside hallway. He hefts a massive axe. King Amphreth tries to flee, but the soldier swings the axe at him, beheading him instantly. Then the soldier spots him. You're next. Look for something to use against the soldier. You grab. Or do you throw out the soldier? Food or the gutlet? 
probably a golden colour. Hope it's gonna be heavy. A goblet of wine. You fling the goblet contents into the face of the soldier. My eyes got him. Before you leave the room, you turn back to see a soldier with gold trim on his armor, looting your mother's body. My mother's signet ring. Leave it. There's no time. Your life is more important. Just grab a sword and just stab him in the back. Uh, forgive me, mother. You take Dom's hand and run. As you look back one last time, you see the soldier take the ring. This will uh, fetch a fine price. As you flee into the corridor, you find the floor s slick with the blood of slaughtered royals and their children. Dead all of them, the entire no nobility wiped out. Not all of them. Wounded and leaning, leaning against a column, Prince Trivion tries to fight off a Navigist soldier. Die, Fidorian scum. Not without a fight. He banishes a touch at the soldier. We've got to help him. It's too risky, my duty is to protect, protect you, not a Florian prince. You are the queen of. Stormhold now, you must live. I know, but what kind of queen am I if I leave him behind? Your army score. Ah, oh, it's territory. Your army score tracks your choices whether you're defeating significant enemies in combat or strengthening your relationships with your allies and increasing their morals. The higher your army score is, the stronger your forces will be for the final battle. Adding allies will grant you unique benefits in your story, unlock special scenes and help you in the battle ahead. Allies also increase your army score for the final battle and some like Prince Chavin even give you soldiers to your army. We can take Prince Chavin with us, he could be vulnerable but it's up to you Kenna. So the choice is we must save Prince Chavin's life, search for Avenger's death, or run now before it's too late. And it, it takes 12 diamonds to have saved Prince Chavin's life. We must leave him. Quickly follow me. No, please come back. Chavin's screens follow you as you flee. Prince Chavin, you made your choice. There's no turning back now. The Floridans have been our strongest allies. Florida's custom does dictate that they send hundred soldiers to avenge their rulers. That's nothing compared to the army Chavin would have provided if he were still alive. At least we've got a hundred soldiers. So that's alright. As you enter the dungeon, you see three soldiers rushing by, all carrying weapons wet with blood. Wait, that one. is the one that stole my mother's ring. Which one? She'd have said that one. Looking around, you spot a crossbow in, your, in the hands of a fallen soldier. You pull it from his grasp. Only one bolt, better choose the right man. I am meant to, no. So I guess it's this one. So this is the outspot one. You both cr crush, catches the soldier right where his helmet meets his armor, plunging into the base of his skull. Uh, 
that's what you get. The man falls dead as the other seat cover. Here it is, my mother's signet ring. At least I got it right. Just by a fluke, I guess. You get the ring dodging the crossbow balls as you retreat down the stairs. All this over a ring? The ring com commands respect and strengthens Kenneth's car claim to the fort throne, but she needs to be allowed to use it. Where do we go now? The passage they used to get in. We'll use it to get out. Gabrielle pushes a brick into the wall. You hear stones shifting and suddenly the rock wall swings open, revealing a secret door. You and your friends dash in. Gabrielle tries to seal the door behind you, but a Navikis soldier are already closing it. They They'll figure out how to get in. We won't make it out before they catch us. Th then we have no choice but to make our stand and fight. As they pass through a metal gate, you see them hesitate on the other side. Now we do have a choice. I'm going to hold them off. At least I can slow them down, buy you some time. Dom slams the gate closed, locking himself in. Dominic. Dom, what are you doing? Don't do this. It's the only way to go. You hear shouting as the soldiers close in on you. Dom, I have one last thing to say. Be careful. Stay alive and I promise to do the same. I won't let you down, we will see each other again, my friend. The sound of shouting interrupts you. Now go, Kenar, Gabriel, keep her safe. I will guard her till my last breath. You and Gabriel flee down the tunnel. I don't want no romance in this story. So I'm just keeping away from that. After leading the soldiers away from Kenner, you emerge from the passage and find yourself in the castle kitchen. The soldiers right behind you are. You there, stop. Ready to fight? Nope, not even a little. You spin around and take off running, bolting through the cluttered kitchen. Get back here. At the far end, you come to a wide open fire pit, flames crackling over sizzling coals. They are moving too fast to dodge you. I should leap, trip, or fall. So I should. Oh, it was a quick time event. You trip, falling right onto the coals. I'll go and put leap, but I won't. You feel heat, but sh strangely, no pain. The flame seems to crackle, twisting around you, bending. What the hell? You try to rise, and a hard metal boot catches you in the chin. Uh, can't have a do over. <laughs> you fall to the side, and a hulking shape blooms into your vision. No way to die. A soldier cuts you off by bringing his heel down into your face and your skull cr crumbles like a ripe melon. You have died. What do you do? That's how you do get a video over. Not even a little. Blah blah blah. Get back here at the end, fire pit flames crackle over sizzling coals. You're moving too fast to dodge, you leap. You leap boldly over the fire pit and strangely as you crush through the veil of flame, you feel no heat or pain. The flames almost seem to arc, bending over from you, making a path. That's odd. The land 
smoothly on the other side of the pit. Behind you, the soldier scrambles around, and in front of you, tugging on a locked door in Margaret, the castle cook. Oh, it's Margaret. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, what in the blazes? You're cornered. Please don't hurt him. He's a good man. He's just a servant like me. He was running with the princess and her bodyguard. He's got to know where they went. I've, I'll never talk. Then I'll kill the old woman. See if that loose, loosens your tongue. No. The soldier slams his fist into Margaret's head. She falls. He pulls out a dagger and kneels beside her. You feel something st staring, staring inside you. Rage, fury, fire. Okay. Tutorial. When Dom's, pow Dom's power level is high enough, you can unlock special choices. Try it now. So I got one. Unleash your rage or fight it. You let your anger explode. The fire burning in the kitchen jumps to the flames, lashing out, twist around the soldiers. Control of fire. Hey, what the ah? <coughs> they wither and scream as the fire burns them alive, roasting them in, in their armor. What, what the hell did I just do? You rush to Margaret's side. You take her hand and she begins to stare. I stare. What, what happened, I thought. I took care of the soldiers, don't ask. Where is everyone? All servants have been ordered to the front room, so if we mean to live, we must go there now. Margaret grabs your arm and pulls you along after her. You and Margaret reach the front room where all of the castle servants stand terrified. Two servants run up to Margaret. Mother, we were so worried about you. What were you doing out there? I was fetching the fool brother's dom here. He's gone and gotten himself in trouble. Our brother? Listen here, Luffy is executing anyone who could be a threat if he finds out that dom has trained as a scout and can and can use a sword he'll kill him so from here on out he's your brother a knuckle-headed servant in the kitchens understand we're going to circle back to knuckle-headed i understand but what if someone else else betrays him i get the word out we're all allies here the other servants will keep dumb secret and if they don't, it'll be a moss cabbage every night, so help me. Silence everyone, quiet down. Your new king is about to speak. Hear me, people of this castle. I know you have long served the former queen, but her reign has ended. King Nafikis gestures and one of his soldiers holds up the head of the queen. Rose, Rose whip, whimpers to you, whispers. I think I'm going to be sick. I should say this is the least of our problems. The queen deserves better than this. Luffy Nefkin is a monster. But what can we do? We have no weapons. Luffy continues. There are no warriors left amongst you. My men have seen to that. Soldiers march in, wheeling carts full of bodies. I give you a choice now. Place your loyalty to me, or add more carcasses to the pile. One of the soldiers unscathes, unscathes his sword. Who says? As the servants line up to take the loyalty pledge, Rose plucks at your sleeve. What do we do? We'll pledge our loyalty, we, we bend the knee, 
we promise to do for ourselves. And when the time is right, we strike. Now playing as Kenna, a few moments later, you are riding through the forest at night, away from Stormhold. Before playing as a male, what was the point of picking the male or the feet? Male or the female at the start of the game. You could you come to a fork in the path. Where are we going? Don't worry, I'm taking you somewhere safe. And where is that? There's a uh, monastery deep in the woods. I trained with the monks that free there for years. They are hiders from Lufa. Behind you, the lights of Stormholt recede into darkness. My home. Don't despair. You're alive. That's all that matters. I promise you I will take my kingdom back, put Luffy's head on a spike, see Dominic again. Take my kingdom back. I weep for my people, for my mother, my family, my friends. They deserved better and my heart breaks for them. You must be strong, now more than ever. King Lufa, he destroyed everything I've even known. I will take Stormholt back, I swear it. Chapter End. Congratulations, you finished Chapter 1. Now you can review how you did and get your army score. Would you like to learn more about how army score works? Now I'm finished taking to the progress screen, so do this, chapter progress. Gabriel will protect you as your ally. Princess Trevon died at the hands of a Nefikis soldier. His aid would have been valuable in the efforts to reclaim your kingdom. You've added only 100 flying down troops to your course. You saved your mother's ring from falling into the enemy's hands. You chose the slap prince Marco. This will affect interactions with him in the future. Overall progress. And so I guess these are the slight like achievements. So Gabriel Levin cured. So he's probably my dad in one of the things. Uh, Prince Chavin is dead. And then we just got a lot more to go. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 10 people to recruit. Prestige 10 out of 15, power 2 out of 2, weapon 0 out of 0, allies 5 out of 10, troops 2 out of 4, significant choices 10 out of 10. Armour score 29 out of 41. Chapter 1 completed. This is you and the reward for the crown and a flame book 1, chapter 1. And one diamond. Chapter 2 of 18. Two years later, Luffy Nefikis is king of Stormhold, but Kenna and Dominic's by chance to take back the kingdom. See, yeah, so. Yeah. so that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Uh, so I've got two keys, so I can continue. I've got 26 diamonds, as you can see. Chapter 2, the reigns of Raikou. But we will leave it out there. So that's going to be the next chapter. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, or comment down below if you want to do it after and in a bit. And just some reviews on this game. Uh, people say that it's a, you spend a lot of money on it for having to wait or pick the best choices in the dialogues or something deft. So, so some dialogue options do have diamonds on them and power and so on. So you have to level up the character. 
access to unlock them kind of thing so this is first time doing it and I'm not really into Telltale games so if you want to see more of it put a like down below if you want or a comment it's up to you I don't mind carrying on but it's going to be a lot of reading and you're going to be putting up with my voice a lot <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed and in a bit